Hello again, Risk community. Welcome back to another video tutorial to help you get started and make the best of ServiceNow. My name is Eric Ferron in Santa Clara, California, and my guest today, once again, is Jorge Garcia, Technical Product Manager in the Risk Business Unit at ServiceNow. Good afternoon, Jorge, and welcome back. Good afternoon, Eric. Hello, everyone. Um, it's a pleasure to be here again. So, Jorge, when we last talked, you explained to us at high level how ServiceNow's vendor risk management solution helps its users to better manage IT vendor risk. Yep, that's correct. So we talked about the six key aspects of vendor risk management, some of the challenges the application solves, and then how we actually solve those problems through the platform. And today, following popular demand both on the community forum and in one-on-one -on -one meetings with customers, you are going to do for us a deep dive on one of these key aspects, the vendor portal. That's right. So the vendor portal is a critical piece of the overall vendor risk management process, and it's particularly critical of the, in the application as well. Um, so it's important that our customers know what it does, but also that our customers' vendors get familiar with it. This is how the vendors are going to interact by responding to assessment, by viewing issues and tasks. And um, ultimately, that is how they also have the ability to communicate via the portal and not so much uh, via email or through the phone. So this saves uh, everyone a lot of time and effort. And I think everyone, it helps them everyone be successful. All right. So this episode is not only for ServiceNow customers, but also for their own vendors. It's absolutely essential that the audience shares this tutorial with their own vendors and maybe include it as a compulsory task for all vendors. Yep, so that's right. So it's a, it's a quick way so that our customers can view what the vendor portal and the VRM application does from that perspective, but also allows the vendors to easily navigate through the different tasks that are associated from a customer perspective to them as their vendor. All right, so here is uh, what we're gonna be talking about today, what we're gonna go through today. So first, as usual, some quick refreshers to set the context um, of this presentation today. Then, Jorge, you're gonna do us a demo of the, of the vendor portal. And at the end, we're gonna have a few recommendations on the next steps. So let's move on with our usual refreshers, right? So today's episode comes as a sequel, if you want, of the first two uh, VRM episodes that we've had so far, one on IT vendor risk that you did, Jorge, and one that showed the insides of the VRM application itself by Donna Johnson. So today, Jorge will do a deep dive on the vendor portal from the portal user's perspective. All right, so let's get started. The vendor portal was created to allow vendor contacts. These are usually the external stakeholders associated with the vendor risk management process in order to allow them to come into the solution of the application in a portal that was explicitly created for them to respond to assessments in the form of questionnaires and to upload any evidence that is required by customers for these vendors. So let's get started. The first page that they'll come in, and I'm logging in as a vendor contact here, is that they'll see the list of assessments that are either in progress, that are new and need to be performed, or some of the completed assessments that have been performed in the past. Let me go ahead and click on a new assessment. As a primary vendor contact, I'll have the ability to see all of the questionnaires and document requests objects that are part of this assessment. And I'll also have the ability to either remove myself as an as assigned to, and then be able to add additional stakeholders for this particular questionnaire or document request. Once a, an individual has been assigned, then they will receive an email notification, which means that they can come into the same vendor portal and respond to the assigned questionnaire. So let's take a look at what that looks like, right? So I'm Alex Newson, which means that I have been assigned to this questionnaire. I have the ability to show follow-ups, right? In the case that the customer or the, um, you know, the internal stakeholders have assigned those, 
show unanswered questions, and then have notes and comments to communicate back and forth between the internal you know, customer, which is the user of the vendor's management application, and the vendor that they're evaluating. So I have the capability to start assess, uh, answering some of these questions, upload attachments, and here you can see that we also have categories that can be answered as well. Once I have answered the entire assessment, I have the capability to submit this assessment. And then once the assessment has been submitted, it'll be reviewed by the vendor risk team. And then they can assign issues and tasks based on incorrect responses or based on the review of some of the evidence that was attached. In order to see that, I will again get an email notification, but I can navigate to issues to see all of my open and closed issues. I can assign those things again as a primary vendor contact to particular individuals and then hit the capability to close out an issue. The same idea works for task where I see open and close task, the ability to assign to and the ability to respond to a task. Finally, as a primary vendor contact, I have the ability to manage my team. Those who have not been defined as a primary vendor contact can still view their team, view their own profiles, but they don't have the ability to invite additional stakeholders to participate in this assessment, just like they don't have the capability to delete another user. As a primary vendor contact, I do have the ability to delete someone, just like I have the ability to edit my own profile. Once again, the vendor portal is for contacts for particular vendors, suppliers, to come in and answer assessments in somewhere that they can easily navigate without giving them access to the ServiceNow platform. Thank you for this, Jorge. So what would you now recommend our audience does right now after watching this, uh, this video? Yeah, so let's move to action, right? So the first thing that I would recommend is you can share this tutorial with your team so that they understand what the vendor's perspective is, uh, but more importantly, share it with your vendors to allow them to navigate the vendor portal in an easy to understand manner. The second is to check out the implementation guide, which is coming soon. And finally, if there's any need, there's vendor risk management training uh, as a free e-learning as well as a two-day course that we're offering. All right, thank you very much, Jorge. And uh, thank you very much uh, all for listening. There are three quick reminders before we sign off. Of course, the slides that we went through today are available in PDF format in the community forum. Jorge and other ServiceNow specialists are waiting for your questions 24 seven in the GRC community forum. And lastly, of course, stay tuned um, until next time. And on behalf of everyone at ServiceNow, goodbye.